Hey guys, this is Cole from All Carpers. Today I'm going to be showing you a video of my Leopard Gecko setup. I have the cool side over there. On my cool side, I have calcium, the cool hide, the water dish, and, well, the rock. It's not a hot rock or a heat rock, whatever you want to call it. It's just a regular walk, <laughs> rock. Over here is my hot side. Underneath this, I have a heat mat. When I say underneath this, I mean underneath the tank, not underneath the substrate. Leopard geckos need heat because they're a reptile, so you need to have a heat mat. Also, you need some form of lighting. And mine is right there. It might look a little bright, but it, that's just the video. My cage is approximately 85 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what it needs to stay at, pretty much. That that's a good number. I don't have a temp I don't have a thermometer. I'm getting one, but I I measured with another thermometer, and um, I'm I'm gonna stick it right there. Another important thing is the substrate. I have reptile carpet. I do not recommend using sand because it can cause impaction. The coolest thing that I have is some fake ivy. Stick it over. The other way. Well, I'm, I'm very picky, so it'll probably take me an hour to get the ivy just right. Anyways, I just put that in there. It looks good. Maybe not from on top. <laughs> from the side, it looks pretty good. And it, you know, gives off a cooler feeling, if you know what I mean. Because ivy, I mean, you don't really see that in the desert. And as you can tell, I don't have a top. I do recommend getting a top though if you have some kind of suction cup plant that you stick to the side. I've seen some of those on um, other videos where they stick to the suction cup. And anyways, the leopard gecko can just climb up that and then do a prison break and jump off the side, crawl away and be long gone. Another reason you might need a top is if you have a heat lamp, which you're going to need. And if you cannot find a clamp or you just don't feel like purchasing it, you can get a top, screen top. And you can just sit the heat lamp right over it, plug it in, and then you're good. This has been a simple leopard gecko setup video. I would show you my leopard gecko, though he's in his cool hide. And he, you know, he's just chilling out. So I'm going to let him be. I'm going to make a video of him eating later on tonight. So, um, check out my channel tonight, and there's probably going to be a video of him eating. He's a very, very ferocious eater, so it's going to be a very, very cool video. I hope you enjoyed my setup video, and I hope you do something that is similar. Or the same as to what I have. Thank you for watching. This has been Cole from Aquaherpers.